Hi guys, so in this video, our topic is all about population growth. So this is another application of differential equation. So the concept is that the time rate of change of the population is directly proportional to the number of population at any time t. So separation of variables, we have differential of p all over p equals k dt. And integrating both sides, we have here, so ln p equals kt plus c. So this is our general solution. So in this first problem, we have the population of a certain country doubles in 30 years. Assume that the rate of increase is proportional to the number of inhabitants. How many years will it be 6 times as much? So using our general solution, we have ln p equals kt plus c. So our condition first, first condition we have at time 0, we have here. So we have no given uh, exact amount of population, therefore we can say that time 0 p is equal to p sub 0. Then, the population of a country doubles in 30 years. So at time 30 years, our population will become 2 times the original population. So the question is, what is the time wherein the population is 6 times as much? So we just substitute this condition in our general solution. So using the first condition, we have ln, so that is p sub 0, equals so k times 0 plus c. So c here is ln p sub 0. First condition. So using the second condition, we have here ln, so that is twice, so 2 times p o equals so k times time is 30 years plus c. But c is ln p sub o. So here, this is loss of exponent. We can reduce this to ln. We have p sub o plus ln 2 equals 30k plus ln p sub 0. Then we subtract ln p sub 0 both sides. We have here k equals, so this is ln 2 all over 30. So using our final condition, we can find time wherein the population is 6 times as much. ln p equals so kt plus c. So at time wherein p, the population is 6 times p. Oh, so we have here ln, so 6 times initial population equals. So k is ln 2 over 30 times plus c is ln p sub o. So here we have ln 6 plus ln p sub 0. So this is loss of exponent. So we have here ln 2 all over 30 times t plus ln p sub 0. So we can cancel this out. So for time t we have here t equals, so this is ln 6. So these two cancels out divided by this coefficient. So we have here ln2 all over 30. So that is equal to 77.55 years. So that is the final answer. So in 77.55 years, the population will be 6 times as much. So in this next problem, we have in year 2021, the population of a certain country is 24 million in 2025, the population went to 82 million. So assuming that the rate of increase is proportional to the number of inhabitants, what was the population in the year 2023? Our reference here is 2021. So we have LNP equals, we have here KT plus C. So our first condition we have here, in year 2021, that is a time reference point, so at time zero. So, that is where the population is 24 million. The second condition we have in 2025, that is after. So, from 2021 to 2025, that is 4 years. So, at time 4, the population is 82 million. Question is, 
what is the population, so the number of inhabitants in the year 2023. So that is after 2 years. So at time 2, what is the population? So using the first condition, we have LN. So that is 24 million equals, so KT, so that is at time 0. So plus C. So therefore, C here is LN. 24. So using the second condition, we have at time 4 years, we have LN, the population is 82 million. So this is 82, so equals K times T, but T is 4 plus C, but C is LN 24. You can say that K equals, so this is LN 82 minus LN 24 all over, we have here 4. So let's find what is the population at time 2 years. We have here LN, so that is P. We don't know yet the number of population. We have here K, so KT plus C. So LNP equals, so K is LN82 minus LN24. All over, we have here 4, so T is, that is 2 years. So plus C. But C is LN24. So here, simplify this. We have LNP equals. So we have here 3.79. Then converting this to exponential form, we have E raised to 3.79 equals P. Therefore, P equals 44.36 million. So here, at time, we have here 2 years. 2 years after 2021, that is 2023. The population in a certain country is 44.36, assuming that the rate of increase is proportional to the number of inhabitants. So let's go to our last sample problem. For our last problem, we have the population of a certain country is 21 million. After 2 years, the number of inhabitants is 27 million. Assuming that the rate of increase is proportional to the number of inhabitants, how many years will the population be 33 million? For this last problem, I recall natin yung concept. So we have the time rate of change of population is directly proportional to the number of population at any given time t, where k is the proportionality constant. So separation of variables, we have differential of p all over p equals we have k dt, and we integrate this both sides. So we have ln p equals kt plus c. We have two constants here, so you need two boundary conditions. So in this problem, we have the population of a certain country is 21 million. So that is at time zero, the population is 21 million. After two years, so that is at time two years, the population is 27 million. So assuming ang rate of increase is proportional to the number of inhabitants, we have this condition. So, how many years will the population be 33 million? So, what is the time t wherein the population will become 33 million? You have this. So, we just substitute this boundary condition to find these two constants here. Now, we have so ln. So, at time 0. So, that is 21 million. So, 21 equals so k times time. That is 0 plus C. So C is LN21. So at time 2 years we have here 27 million. So LN27 equals so K times T. T is 2 years. So plus C. C is LN21. Therefore K equals so LN27 minus LN21 all over 2. So K equals so, ln27 minus ln21 all over 2. So, we have here 0 0.125657. So, I advise you to shift store everything on your calculator in order for us to have an accurate answer. So, here, uh, this is 0 0.12566. So for the final answer, we have ln p equals kt plus c. So, here, our condition is that P is 33 million. So what is time at 33 million population? So equal, so KT. 
So K is 0 0.12566 times time plus C. So we have here LN21. So therefore T equals so LN33 minus LN21 all over. So here 0 0.12566. So T equals so that is after 3 point approximately that is 3.6 years. So after 3.6 years, the population will become 33 million. That is from initial which is 21 million. So that's it guys. I hope that you have learned from this video. So continue to share, subscribe, like every content on our YouTube channel. So I hope to see you in my next video guys. Stay safe and God bless future engineers. Thank you.